Hello, and welcome to Vegas October 1 Sounds Channel. My name's Richard, and this channel was created after the events of October 1st, 2017, so that I could interact with other members of the community regarding the tragedy. As a matter of education and training, I am, a I am practiced in electrical engineering and computer science. And during my career, which is, spans more than 30 years now, I have worked for a number of firms in Silicon Valley, including Sun Microsystems, Hewlett Packard, Rome Mill Spec Division, Lockheed Martin Systems, and dozens of other uh, companies that were involved with the design imp and implementation of digital computers and their associated software. Uh, shortly after the tragedy of October 1, I asked myself, what could I do to help both myself and others understand the events which transpired that evening? And like so many others, um, I doubted the official narrative and desired to know the truth. Within the first few weeks, I decided that with so many people working on looking at videos and doing background checks, and performing internet searches and all that stuff, I decided to focus exclusively on acoustic analysis, and I've remained focused on acoustic analysis since. And the reason I've focused on acoustic analysis is because nobody was taking the time and the effort to review the gunshot acoustics of the videos in any detail. And I have a lot of experience in the type of techniques used to make that analysis. So anyway, um, I, I basically I've, uh, uh, and up until very recently, I only sporadically commented on the contents of other channels. And I really didn't start producing any content until just last month, September of 2019. Now as time passed, my understand from the beginning of this tragedy, my understanding of gunshot acoustics has solidified and all the false statements, assumptions, observations, theories, and conclusions that are being put out there by other channel channels grew more and more frustrating to me. And I attempted to explain how gunshot acoustics worked in the comments, but making those comments on other channels got me nothing more than banned or vilified as a troll. So I finally decided to start producing content. Um, and, and that's the videos that you see now on this channel. My singular focus on gunshot acoustics determined the name of my channel. The name of the channel doesn't reflect my personal name because I do many other things. But the name of the channel does reflect the purpose of the channel and the content of the channel. Um, the content that I produce in this channel is based on industry accepted theories, knowledge of gunshot acoustics, and practices. And I provide reference to those theories and practices from industry accepted ex acknowledged experts. And based on those theories and my now two year research into the Vegas gunshot activity, I extract audio from numerous, numerous videos. I've extracted audio from numerous videos, and I apply industry-accepted algorithms, techniques, and practices to analyze these gunshot acoustics. All the conclusions on this channel are my own. I am not associated or affiliated with any government agency. I'm not associated or affiliated with any other channel, and I do not belong to any official or unofficial groups or organizations. And my approach is simple. I'm an engineer. I have to make things work. And so I want clear, reproducible, definitive observations and measurements. And then I'm going to take the well-accepted theory, apply it against those observations, and draw some conclusions. And I don't want speculation. I don't want hypothesis. I don't want more questions that just frustrate me and make me doubt or believe because I've got enough doubt already. I want answers. And unlike most of the other channels, I will provide many answers over time. And they will be solid. They will be concrete. Uh, you can count on them. You can rely upon them. And you can build upon them. And uh, I want this solid foundation of information 
observations and conclusions to be reviewed by others and utilized by others. And so to that objective, I tend to reject immediately all speculative approaches to analyzing Vegas. You know, a simple one observation of a sniper from one video on top of the roof of somebody to me is just an outlier. I have to have several videos that show that same event from different perspectives. And that's how I work with audio. If I get one sound from one video, it's nothing more than one data point. If I've got four to ten videos and they all show the same event with similar characteristics, then I've got something to work with, something I can really analyze and something I can dig dirt, dig dirt, yeah, right. <laughs> I've been watching Gold Rush, uh, dig information out of. So, so for me, these types of speculative um, theories and conclusions are avoided. Now, a lot of my work is not easy, and at times it's extremely complex in nature involving fairly rigorous mathematics. And I'm going to do my utmost best to take that complexity out and present the information in a way which can be accessed by many. But that doesn't mean that you won't have to invest a little time in this channel. It's going to take a few hours before you feel comfortable with even just some of the terminology. But at the end, you're going to have an understanding like few others have. And from that understanding, you can be secure in knowing that you're not going to have your feet swept out from under you by basing your belief system on what I presented here. And again, my name is Richard. This channel is Vegas October 1 Sounds, and I do devote this channel exclusively to analyzing the gunshot acoustics of the, the tragedy that occurred on October 1, 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll catch you in the next one.